So it appears that President Trump not only is exposing corruption, I mean, just by him running for president and then winning uh, the presidency, he has exposed corruption in the in, in the government on both sides. He just all the uh, corruption is being exposed. People are being exposed for who they really are. Politicians that have claimed one thing for years are now because they hate Trump so much that they are uh, basically just not hiding anymore. People have basically taken off their mask and you just expose themselves to who they are because they just the hatred has made them do it. But it's another thing Trump has exposed just by running for the presidency. Trump has exposed mental illnesses in people. People that have been, you know, walking around uh, appearing to be normal. Now all their uh, hidden uh, insanity has surfaced because of Trump. I've read articles, and I'll post one of them, but there are several of them, where therapists are saying that they have gotten uh, more uh, more clients, and the clients are coming in, and they're all mentioning the reason, <laughs> the reasons for their visit is Trump. Trump's name keeps coming up and all their therapy uh, sessions. So you can't tell me Donald Trump is not a job creator because he has even uh, increased the businesses of therapists, psychologists. Trump has even done that. So you can't tell me he's not a job creator. But now, just think about this. You mean to tell me that people are so weak that they will go to see a therapist over a total stranger? Okay, because they've never met Donald Trump. I've never met President Trump. So how in the world can I go and see a psychologist and say, I'm here because of President Trump? Somebody that I have no relationship with whatsoever, but he's driven me. He has driven me to go see a therapist. Now, that is a serious issue here people because what we're witnessing here is the people are mentally unstable that's all that is and it took somebody like Trump to bring it out it took that it took him to bring it to you know the surface we have people I also read articles where people are taking more what is it antidepressants I mean people are on all, all kind of medications but see but Trump is the one that they're blaming for everything and, and but it's really not Trump what is something else? There was they were already there was already something wrong with these people. But Trump seems to trigger things in people, and 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 it's not even his fault. I mean, the poor man, all he did was come down some escalators <laughs> and announce he's running for president, and then he won, and that did it. All your mental illnesses, all your problems that you had from your childhood, all your daddy issues, everything surfaced because of Donald Trump. Now, I'm going to tell you, I believe that the majority of the problems that people are having, and I had read an article about that too, with Trump, is issues they've had with their own fathers, daddy issues. That's men and the women. You know, of course, all the men that hate Trump are beta, beta uh, weak men. That's all that is because Trump is a, a, you know, a strong man. And people that are weak cannot stand because he's authoritarian you know he's an authority that's a father but you have men and women that have grown up first of all without fathers or maybe they've been abused by a father or whatever when they see Trump they, they, they trigger something you know even these rappers look a uh, uh, Snoop Dogg he had to make a video about shooting Trump now f never mind that he was friends with Trump I mean, he hung out with Trump. His photos of him partying with Trump and all that. He had no problem with Trump. But uh, when Trump becomes daddy, though, that's a different thing. You know, and, and Snoop is so weak that he said, you know, he had to make a video of shooting him. See, that's what cowards do. They don't fight. They, they use guns. Now, a, a real man, if you have an issue with someone, you will meet with that person and address it. Because Trump has an open-door policy. You remember, he, he invited the kneelers, those football kneelers. Come meet with me and tell me what the problem is. You know, no, none of them would go. Because first of all, they cannot art articulate any problem that they're having with him. And so now he's saying, come meet with me. They're not even man enough to go. They talk all that smack, these big football players. 
they talk all that smack, but they were not man enough to go sit down with the president and tell them, tell him what their problem they had with him. They couldn't do that. They could, one guy made a video. That's what just one. I made a video. See, that shows you how weak people are. But it's not Trump's fault. But that's what's happening. He has exposed mental illnesses, and people are going to their therapists and bringing up Trump, and they're calling it Trump anxiety, uh, uh, acute. Trump anxiety. That's what one of the uh, therapists, the, the psychologist is calling it. And it says, on the rise. It's on the rise, people. So, this is what we are dealing with in this country. A country full of weak, unstable people and it took Donald Trump to bring it out. And the sad part about it, we have family members. Okay, you know, people have been uh, disowning family members and so-called friends over because they voted for Trump. Now, you know that has to be a mental illness. Who does that? Who gets rid of friends they've had for 30 years? Who gets rid of relatives? I mean, I've heard from relatives that said they've gone to therapist, uh, therapy with their parents, with their siblings, over Trump. Because they're up upset with their family member for voting for Trump. So you mean to tell me I'm going to go see a therapist? I'm going to get rid of my friends and my family and everybody because they voted for somebody? Think about how unstable you have to be. But it's not Trump. It's other underlying issues, and Trump just brought it brought it out. But now the really sad thing is, I read an article about people are getting divorced over the over Trump. Now that to me that's too far. Now are you you're really willing to give up on your marriage because of who somebody voted for? You mess up a family, disrupt your family life because somebody voted for Trump. But see, it's not Trump. These people that they married already had some issues. But it, it didn't surface until Trump got elected. And then they, and if that person voted for Trump, they blamed them. Because if Trump hadn't been elected, I wouldn't be going through this. But really what it is, is if Trump hadn't been elected, this issue wouldn't have gotten triggered. It wouldn't have gotten triggered. So th this is a sad situation. That's why I couldn't be a therapist. Because see, I, I, you know, my undergrad you know, degree was in psychology because I was supposed to be a psychologist. But I don't have the patience for this. Because let me tell you something. I just don't have the patience for it and everybody has a calling and I don't have a calling to deal with a lot of foolishness that's just not my uh, I just I just can't do it if someone would come to me and I'm a psychologist and they brought up Donald Trump I would scold them so hard I'm like what's wrong with you you coming to here to see how in the world it's not Trump and I, I really hope these psychologists are really getting to the root of the problem because they're writing articles saying Trump anxiety thing. So that tells me maybe they're not really trying to get to the root of the problem. Because you know that's not the people's issue. It's not Donald Trump. It's somebody coming to see you. But see, they just want the money. They want the money because they're getting paid. Because uh, it's good It's good money. And so now you have more more clients. And uh, they're talking about Trump. You don't want to get them. Uh, you don't want to get to the root cause of the problem too quickly. Because then you'll lose money. Because that's what one of my instructors told me uh, in college. Uh, he was a you know he was a psychologist and he told me you want to fix people and you you won't make any money you want them to keep coming so uh, I don't have the patience for that and I would tell them let's get to the bottom of what's really wrong with you it is not Donald Trump I wouldn't even entertain that conversation five minutes someone came to me and said that because I know it's impossible to have issues with someone that you haven't met that you don't have a personal relationship with you cannot have issues with strangers people so it's funny, but it's not funny. It's funny to me that the, all these people are going to their therapist about him, but it's not funny to me when people start divorcing and, and, and disrupting their families. Okay, your family, these people that you've made a covenant with, and you're getting rid of them because you claim. And people say it's even inf infecting, uh, affecting, infecting. It's, e it's even affecting their sex lives, couples, married couples. They can't be intimate anymore because of Donald Trump. Now, you tell me that uh, I feel sorry for Donald Trump in that area because all he did, that's all this man did is I want to fix America. I want to make Mer America great again. I'll run for president, for the presidency. I'll lose millions of dollars of my wealth running for president. Uh, and, you know, and I'll give up my good life I had. I was a celebrity. I have a loving family. I have all this going for me. And I gave all this up to try to help my country. And what happens? All the people that had underlying mental illnesses, uh, I triggered it all. 
All because I said, make America great again. So here we are, people. I wanted to talk about that. I've been reading those articles, but I forgot about it for a while. And I was thinking about it today. I said, you know what? This needs to be addressed. Donald Trump is called, see, we call it Trump derangement syndrome. But the psychologist has given it a, a professional name. Uh, acute Trump anxiety is what they call this. And we are experiencing an uptick in that. And people are running to their therapist, uh, and the therapists are getting rich, and they're not trying to get to the root cause of the problem because they want them to keep coming, and so they can get rich. So they need to thank Trump. All the therapists, they need to be thanking Donald Trump. They shouldn't be trying to get rid of him. They shouldn't be trying to impeach him because he's keeping them in business. Don't you think that? <laughs> he's keeping them in business. Why would they want to get rid of him? <laughs> Have a blessed day.